Uh, good evening, brothers and sisters. Uh, this is our brother Steve uh, coming back with another video. Uh, shalom and, and bless every single one of you uh, tonight. And I just want to thank you for everyone's uh, continual support. Um, if you like this video, uh, please th thumbs up. Uh, share the video, please. Uh, and subscribe. You know, being on this being on this platform, I don't really necessar necessarily consider myself uh, what they call a YouTube content creator. Now, in a sense, I am creating vi videos, but my reason for being on YouTube is first and, and, and foremost is to do the work of the Most High God, Christ. Um, I recognize my gifts as a teacher uh, and a watchman and I guess a pastor I even feel s s funny saying that because I, I've never uh, considered myself a pastor um, I love the most high and I've always had the knack of, of history and studying once again as, as I've relayed in previous videos before but um, I'm coming to y'all tonight because I, I want to share uh, a personal experience, a uh, personal testimony. Okay. So once again, this is not going to be history based per se in terms of bringing uh, historical meat, at, you know, as I have on previous videos, you know, time to time, you know, I, this is necessary, but I do have a, what I call a, um, a spiritual message, uh, a, a message of, of emphasis because uh, right now, a lot of brothers and sisters and, and, and believers across the world are uh, dealing with insurmountable odds right now. And um, we need encouragement. You know, the title of this video, uh, I've titled this, this video uh, slash sermon, if you will, uh, The Cup of Trembling, uh, Dealing with Issues of Life. Uh, testimony of Sassy, okay? Uh, once again, the title of this video is The Cup of Trembling, uh, Dealing with Issues of Life and the Testimony of Sassy, okay? Now, I'm sure some of y'all are wondering, well, where are we going with this here? Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to tell you, we're going to get there. Uh, as I do in, in, in previous videos, I always like to... to to demonstrate and uh, show you guys that you know the books I use, um, we're going to pull out a we're going to pull out a a, a scripture uh, from the book of Matthew, it's out the King James Version Bible. Okay, I'm going to show you guys once again. You know, we're going to be going into the book of Matthew, uh, chapter uh, 26, uh, verses 30. Uh, 6 through 39, and that's chapter 26, verses 36 through 39, okay? Father God, Ahayah Bashem Mishael, glory and praise to you. Thank you for this opportunity to come to my brothers and sisters, and I pray that I'm able to convey, convey the thinking and to bring, you know, a Holy Spirit field insight to the day-to-day -day struggles in this hour that we're in right now. Um, you know, your children are waking up. Uh, you know, we're striving, we're enduring, and we're doing the best that we can. And, you know, I like to help my brothers and sisters tonight, if I can. Um, I appreciate the opportunity, Lord. Thank you. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, right now, we're, once again, we're going to the uh, book of Matthew, uh, chapter 26, verse 36 through 39, okay? And in this scripture, it states here, Then cometh Yeshua, Christ Jesus, with them, unto a place called Gethsemane, and saith unto the disciples, Sit ye here, while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee 
and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then saith he unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. So, brothers and sisters in the scripture here, your shy of Christ Jesus right now is at the place of Gethsemane. And he asks Peter and, and excuse me, <clears throat> he asks Peter and two of his disciples to tarry there, to wait. You know, I often wonder when reading this, this passage, what Christ was, was going through in, in his human form. You know, being that he was the son of the most high, a, a spirit from above. What was he going through? What was he thinking? I often wonder. And I've thought many times, uh, every time I read this, this scripture here, I, I always, uh, it shakes me at times. It, 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 it's, it shakes me. Because here it is, you know, we have Christ in the physical flesh, knowing that he has to sacrifice himself for the, for the salvation of, of men. You know, you know otherwise, if, if he had not done it, we, we, we'd have no hope, we'd have no chance. But Christ knew that he had to, he had to pick up that cup, that cup of trembling. You know, folks, I have a cup here in front of me and I uh, got some, you know, some juice. And I look at this cup here and once again, I tied up the vehicle, the cup of trembling. But this cup is, is an example and the contents in, in it of the issues and adversities that we have to deal with in face of life. The cup of trembling. You see my hands shaking and moving? This is what it's like for us spiritually when, when we're operating in, in, this, in a wicked, fallen world. Every day we pick up our cup. And not knowing what the day beholds, we, we pray, we fast, we do what we need to do before we, we walk out the doors, we send out the spirit of peace and rest ahead of us into the unknown. You know, Christ stated, I send you out sheep amongst wolves. So be wise as serpents, innocent and harmless of style. And you know, when he told the disciples that, he was warning them, telling them to be watchful and beware. And with the mission of the disciples, they all knew that they, they had to go out into the world and, and, and walk the lands, spreading the gospel. You know, Christ also stated that, you know, he told the disciples, I give you power. I give you power to trample on scorpions and snakes in the whole camp of the enemy and nothing by no means shall harm you. So even in that sense, the disciples had to pick up their cup of trembling. I mean, when you think about the historical, uh, you know, that, that time and uh, the scrutiny and, and uh that the disciples were under. I mean, here it is, you had these brothers out here doing the work in the harvest, working, talking, going in extremely hostile environments at that time, knowing that in doing the work, they were jeopardizing their lives. Folks, that's like us. When we, when we sign up for this, this gospel, to do the work. We are also putting our lives online. 
And that's why Christ said, fear not those that can kill the body. No, but fear the most high who can, who can kill the, who can destroy the body and soul. So I'm reminded of that and I'm reminding y'all of that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just a conversation with y'all. But Christ picking up his cup of trembling. Uh, you know, I just can't imagine. I, it's just unimaginable to even try to relate to what Christ was feeling in his, in his human body, in his human state. What was going on in his mind? I often wonder and ponder. So, folks, I want to share a video with you, okay? And uh, this was this was my dog, Sassy. Okay, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna. I want you guys to watch the video, and then I'm gonna uh, come back and uh, try to convey. The importance of 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 why I showed you this video and why I came uh, tonight with this particular passage. Okay, so uh, you guys just bear with me here and, and watch the video. Okay, okay, here it is. Water for protected baby. Going home. October 20th, 2020, baby. 16 years on this planet. You've done a wonderful job. You ain't gonna have to be in no pain. You ain't gonna have to hurt. Do you guys wanna take your car with me? Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't see the point of taking that home. You sure? I don't know. They do feel better with it. Huh? They do feel better when they keep it. It's an attachment they have. All right, Sassy. Love you. Bless you, baby. Tell Aaron something. Make God see what's up. my dog Sassy, you know, whom I love very, very much. Um, earlier last year around, um, a little bit before the, the pandemic went down, um, I got a call uh, regarding, you know, my dog uh, that uh, she was diagnosed by her veterinarian with stage four cancer. Um, when I heard the news, um, you know, I wanted to go check on her. I had to go see her in, in terms of where she was at. She was with, with my children's, uh, you know, family. And um, when I seen her, uh, now mind you, this was January of 2020, roughly. Um, I, when I got to the house in terms of where she was at, uh, I happened to have noticed uh, how thin she was. Um, essentially, she was wasting away. Uh, you could basically, you know, see a rib cage. Uh, she had probably lost about 40, 50 pounds. I mean, you know, probably a 120-pound dog at that. I observed and I watched her uh, defecating and, and urinating. And um, she had uh, blood in her stool and when she urinated, uh, there was there was blood coming out. Um, 
I knew at that point, you know, she probably didn't have very, very uh, long to live. Um, so I went to work that night. And while I was out, I broke down. I, I broke down in, in, in my car. I broke down. Um, because having a, a pet like her for 16 years, I was not ready to let go. You know, I, I looked at, at Sassy as, you know, I've always, I always thought she'd live forever. You know, she's such a good family dog very intelligent and you know she became like the, you know she became part of the family and uh, I emotionally lost it you know you know I, I love that dog in fact I've loved all my pets and every pet I've ever had they've always been part of the you know part of the family you know when I, you know even dealing with seeing people you know dealing with uh, animal abuse uh, I've never agreed with that. In fact, people don't even understand animals have souls. They sure do. You know, the Most High created all things. In the book of Enoch, there's a record where the Most High uh, is going to deal and punish men who, you know, wicked and evil men who abuse animals. But I don't want to get too far off of that. But I'm sharing the video with y'all because I want y'all to understand. Sassy being diagnosed with stage four cancer and seeing her, you know, bleeding and, and losing weight and essentially dying. Uh, the veterinary basically gave her probably a month or two. And when I heard that that news, uh, like like I said, that that same night, I was in in my car. Balling, balling, and I screamed out to the Most High. I screamed out to the Most High, and I, I had probably you know there were some folks on the job you know looking, wondering if I was all right, and you know you know I had to wave my hand like I'm good, you know I'm cool, whatever, whatever. But I was trying to hide the emotion and the pain of losing something in this earth that I loved. You know what I'm saying? So, so why do I show you that? Why did I show you the video? It's to bring this around to, to tell you that sometimes in the walk of a believer, you will have to pick up that cup of trembling. That cup of trembling will come. And it will continue to come. See? That cup. There are times in your life where you can't avoid the cup of trembling. The Most High in the Bible calls it what we call bread of adversity, furnace of affliction. Something that we all have to, to deal with, the realities of, of what this life brings. And in our human minds, we try to think of how we can avert the fire. I'm sure there's many times that the disciples, if they could, they would have avoided going into certain areas preaching the gospel. Remember, the majority, if not all, a few, they were martyred. They were murdered. And yes, they were foretold. But they had to hold on to that. They had to hold on and deal with the inevitable. They had to go through the, the furnace of affliction. They had to deal with that bread of adversity. And they kept going, knowing the mission, knowing the risk of death, knowing the spiritual attacks. Holding on to the promise of Christ through the Father, the Most High, Ahia. So I shared that video with y'all to, to show that 
the fact that Sassy lived an extra seven months longer than what a so-called doctor, you know, what a doctor said, I didn't, I didn't accept or receive that. I prayed that night. I prayed and I screamed out to the most high and I had tears of fire. And the most high heard my prayer. He answered my prayer and gave me, gave Sassy seven more months on that, on, on, on this planet. Now, Sassy died October 2020 last year. And, uh, you know, I do have a, a science background, a biology background. I understand anatomy and physiology and phys physiological processes and things like that. So in a worldly sense, according to worldly knowledge and scientific understanding and scientific knowledge, you know, Sassy, based upon the prognosis and what she was diagnosed with, you know, she should have, you know, died. But it didn't happen. There was supernatural intervention. And the Most High answered my prayers. How do you, do, how do you deal with your, your, your furnace of afflictions? How do you deal with your bread of adversities? And what are you doing in that process? Who, you know, who, who, do you, who do you call? when there's nobody to call. Brothers and sisters, all we have is our faith and the word of the Most High and the promises of the Most High in Christ. I'm going, I've been going through some afflictions lately and I've just been smiling them off you know, up and down, you know. So this is a word of encouragement for y'all. Keep pressing on and keep travailing. Keep making your decrees and, and, and declaring the promises on your life and those around you, no matter what. Tribulation was promised from Christ. He didn't hide it. The Most High is faithful to his sons and daughters. That's the cost of an, of an anointing. When you're anointed, you will have to deal with affliction and adversity. There will be times where you will not be able to pass that cup of trembling and you'll have to drink it. You'll have to go through it. You'll have to immerse yourself fully into it, fully into the fire with no escape. Like Meshach, Shadrach, and Nebednego in the fire, furnace of affliction. And Baal and the, and the dragons. The story in the Apocrypha. Y'all know about that if, if you've read it. Them brothers set up in that, in that, call, in, in, in that, they set up in that place on fire. And the Most High covered them. There was an angel, a ministering angel right up in there. And I believe it. Because I can attest to the supernatural divine interventions of the Most High in Christ. Because he is faithful. No matter how things look. When the Most High puts, puts his hand on you, nothing by no means shall harm you. That's the promise of Christ. But our Lord and Savior had to, you know, he had to, he had to go through the furnace of affliction. He wanted to pass his cup. But he knew he had to go through it. He had to put his life on the line. And all the pain he suffered for the entire world. So
So brothers and sisters, you know, I didn't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to uh, share this testimony and this message with you. It's only in Christ. It's only in Christ and doing the work of the Most High. When the Most High marks you, you are blessed. When the tribulation comes upon you in affliction, you are blessed and highly favored. Don't forget that. And I'm here to remind you of the mission. The mission must proceed. All glory and praise to the Most High. All glory and praise to the Most High. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah to our, to our Lord and Savior, Yeshua Christ Jesus. Yeshua, thank you for the gift of the Wawak Holy Spirit, Lord. Brothers and sisters, I want to thank you for the opportunity once again uh, to bring this sermon. And, and I feel like a, a timely message. I, I pray that this was conveyed in love, spirit, and, and truth. And... Um, you know, I love y'all. Praying for every single one of you. All right? All right. Shalom, family. Y'all have a good night. And uh, I'll, I'll see y'all next time, all right? All right, bless y'all. Take care.